Hello, welcome to this channel. Uh, today we will be going over how to set up your reference images in Alias. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing we do is to prepare our image and you can skip this step if you already have your images separated. And in this case, I am going to get the front view and I'm going to save it as front. And next will be my side view. Save that as the side. And then we go to the back view. Save that as well. Oops, something happened. Okay, let's try again. Save it as back. And last will be the top view. Save that. Okay, great. So now we're done with that and we can move on to the next step. Okay, so go back to Alias and click on the View Cube. On the left side, we're adding a cube to the viewport. I'm going to scale it up in the X direction and a little bit on the Z direction as well. So the whole idea is to get the cube to be the same dimensions as the car. So that will be the length. And for the width, you could go with um, either dimensions as well, you just have to keep track of which one you're using. So in this case, I think I am going to go with the 1930 dimension. And I will enter that into the Y component of the dimension. And for the Z, it will be the height, which is 1252. And that should be it. So the next step is to reposition the cube to the origin and just align the lower left corner to the origin but before we do that we have to add an image just a side image make sure that is checked and go so we select the side image and I'm going to scale it down I have to select the object first so scale it down So before I do that, I'm going to move the pivot position of the cube to the center line so I can snap it to the origin after that. So there you go, it's at the center. Now I move the cube by holding Alt and snapping to the origin. So now I can easily reposition my image and scale it appropriately. Oh, 
Oops, just the image. Okay, there you go. And I need to scale it down to fit in that rectangle right there. Let's move it forward. Scale up. I think that should do it. Maybe move it up a little bit. Or scale it up a little bit. Let's move on the Z. And you can also use your direction keys uh, for precise uh, movement as well. So I'm going to add an, another image, the front image. Uh, to the viewport, select the front and scale down. Select the image, scaling down to fit inside of the rectangle. Let's move to the left and size it up a little bit let's move it up and that should be good uh, scale it up a little bit. So at this point you're just eyeballing and making sure that your reference image uh, fits within the rectangle. Next thing we're going to do is to add the view of our car. So click on top and then we're going to go to import a canvas, select the top image and we're going to size it down or scale it down. Okay, so we're going to align the top view with the rectangle and we can use the badge in front of the car to help us align the image. So I'm going to move it up a little bit so it's right in the center. And that should be good for the top. Okay, so the next will be the back image. So go to the back, file, import a canvas and select the back image. And I'm going to size this down as well. And it's a little hard to figure out how to 
position this one so usually what I do is I hide the front reference image to make it easier for me to figure it out and just like we did before you try to align the car with the rectangle Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to move it back a little bit. All the way on the other side. And... I'm going to move that further out. And move the top view down. And let's unhide the front. And move it back. Okay, so that looks good. Next, we are going to put those images in a layer. So right click and select insert new layer and we're going to name this canvas and just select all four images, right click and assign object to that layer. And we're going to make it not selectable so just uh, have them as references so you can see that I can only select the the cube but not the images and there you have it this concludes the tutorial and if you found this helpful uh, please smash that like button and subscribe and I will do well to have more tutorials like this uh, on my channel as well to help you guys out all right take care